I was always two steps ahead. No, actually, I'm not. But still, I'm going to tell you what is the best mail app you can use on your computer and on your phone. At the end of this video, you're going to know what is the best app to manage all your email accounts in one application. But for now, we're going to start with Mozilla Thunderbird. I think you've already heard of it, but it is a program where you can see your own mail and it is sadly only available on your computer, which includes Windows, Mac OS and Linux, but yeah, no phone, which we use every single day and it receives notifications very well. I want the app here. So that's why I did some research and now I'm going to explain to you why Mozilla Thunderbird is very good for people that have used it in the past. All people use Mozilla Thunderbird when they want to manage their mails because they probably have Microsoft, Gmail and yeah, maybe Apple Mail or something, iCloud, I don't know. So for now, we're going to the browser, which is Brave for me. I've already installed this in the whole Windows 11 series I've been creating to optimize you on Windows and tell you what the best tweaks are. Well, very simple, just go to the link in the description and you will directly go to Thunderbird. After coming here, you will see a three platforms where it is supported on and we click here on download to download it to the system. After doing this, we just have to click save and then install the program. Very easy. It is extracting right now. Just gonna take a moment. Let's click on next and then yeah, probably the standard version. Let's keep it simple and install it to the main system. It is a free open source program. So a false program, which stands for free open source software. And this means that it is managed very well. Let's start the application right now. There you go. It looks like a browser and I think that's pretty funny. So if I want to enter my name here, which I'm of course going to blur in the video and then my email address, very easy. And now I'm connecting a Microsoft account. I just have to type in the password if I still remember it. I have a password manager for that. So now I'm going to click on continue, very easy. And now it's going to open a Microsoft um, space. And now I have to type in the password again. I know it's very annoying but it doesn't really matter. We just have to enter it until it works. So let's click on sign in and then I have to log in. Hold up. By the way, I'm getting a verification code right now. And the best app has it on the Android, which means you can access it on your Windows and Android at the same time. And you're going to be seeing that at the end of this video. I first have to receive it. There you go. I'm verifying it and now I can click on accept. Well, there you go. I have to access. I have to give Thunderbird Mozilla access. Let's go. Just click on accept. It's that easy. And now the configuration is found in the Mozilla ESP database, which it doesn't really matter. It's going to be connected by EMAP, which is fine. This is how we connect to the servers of the mail. And now we just have to click on done and it should work. There you go. Account setup, account uh, successfully created, blah, blah. And we can also connect it to a remote calendar and everything like that, which is great. You can manage your own mail at the, at the top left above. Below that contacts, if it wants to work, there you go. Use Thunderbird as a default client for news groups, calendar, there you go. I just want to get calendar and email. That's fine by me. Let's click on set as default. Very easy. And then here I can see my own address books, which is your contacts pretty much. Here we got the calendar. Here we got tasks, if I'm right. Yes, we got tasks and conversations. And you have to get a chat account for this because this is a Thunderbird only feature. Uh, for the rest, here we got mail. And here I can see my own inbox, uh, drafts, everything like that. It still has to load in because it's downloading it from the mail server. There you go. Uh, in Dutch here, it says archive. It's the same. But because I'm in Holland, I got Dutch servers and everything like that. So, but it's fine for the rest. Uh, we can add more accounts, which is great. This is the reason why I wanted to make this video because one app for all the email accounts would be the best one, right? So you can create our account by going right above at the hamburger icon. That's what I call it because you have two stacks and then in the middle, I call it a hamburger icon. Why not? Uh, here you go, a new account, very easy. And then after clicking here, you can choose what type of account you want to add. 
If you only want to connect a calendar, you can do that, but we're going to connect another email address. Now we got the account set up again, which is open in these tabs and it is like a browser actually. I can easily close some things here, except the inbox. Uh, that's because of the account and everything, but here you go, the account setup. I'm going to add another account. Just enter the details and of course it is blurred because it's my private information. And I definitely need to make a video about my own app I use for passwords. And it is the best one. There you go, let's click on continue. It is searching for the configuration. It's gonna take a moment. This is also a Microsoft account, but I can also be adding a Gmail account if I want or anything else. So here we got IMAP again. Now I'm going to click on done again. Now it's going to ask me to enter the details again, which is no problem. I just have to enter it once, the password, and accept that Thunderbird can access my info, which means that they can, of course, make sure I can read the mail. There you go, blah, blah, successfully created. And now I can click on finish. Well, there are many features, and I think Mozilla Thunderbird is a very good program. The only problem is I have a phone and I want to access my mail. But everything I'm adding here is actually not in my phone. And I think that's very annoying. So for the rest, I'm now going to be showing you what is the best mail app to manage all your email accounts. Well, you can actually download this here in the Microsoft Store. But I'm going to give you a link in the description again where you can go to. There you have it. The best email experience ever made. It is called Blue Mail. You can download this from multiple programs, I mean platforms, and you can see them here in the list, which is your own Mac computer, your iOS, your iPhone, Android, so your phone, Hawaii, because of course it doesn't support Android anymore. Uh, for Windows, an AXC file, it's old, doesn't matter. If you have Windows 7, you can download it there. Uh, Linux, Debian, uh, RPM system, or Snap, whatever you want. For the rest, uh, I'm going to click here on download for Windows 11 and 10. After doing this, it's going to open the Microsoft Store window and I can click here on download. It is that easy. Now I'm going to click on save and it's going to be able to be in my download folder. Now I'm going to click on it and start the exe file to install Bluemail. By the way, it is very easy to install on your phone. Just go to the Play Store, type Bluemail. After doing that, it should easily be after doing that, it should easily be here in the list. After opening Oh, after opening it, you actually see email, blue mail and calendar, but it's very simple. Well, this is the starter window you're going to see on Windows. I think it's also the same on Mac and also on Linux and on Android. It's a little bit different, but it's the same steps. Here we can add account via Magic Sync, which is the first account you're going to link. So do remember when clicking here on the continue. So here we have the option add your account via magic sync. This means that you can link all your accounts in one account and this is the first account you're going to be logging in with. So if I click here on continue it's going to ask me for an email address. This email address is going to be linked to this magic sync which means if I click on magic sync I go to next I get a code and that is for my phone or other devices where I want to use this mail app. And it's going to connect all your email accounts in one system, which is very easy. It's all connected in that one account you're going to add. So if I click here on continue and then I log in, etc., etc., I'm just going to type my email address here. You can easily see that you can sign in. There you go. It supports all the platforms pretty much Microsoft, Gmail, Apple, IMAP, Pop. 3 whatever you want. Here I just have to log in like normally. There you go. I'm getting my code. I just have to type it in and you can easily see that right below I'm getting some notifications. There you go. And now I can verify myself and it's going to sign in. After doing this it's going to link to my own blue mail. This is because I've already changed some settings. Here at the first you're going to see what the name is of your own email address. For example mine is Milan Telman. And then I had a Hotmail uh, address, which is very old, by the way. Um, and I can describe it here as my main email address, for example. And then here we got account color. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But here you can click on next. Very easy. And you can choose what type of uh, blue mail you want. I'm just going to click on default because compact 
is that everything is more full sized. So it's a single line email list. This means that you see the whole email across the full screen. I don't like that. I like to see the mails that are still open and the mails that actually are in the list. So here it says, welcome to Blue Mail. You can take a tour if you want, but I'm going to give you a tour. I'm just going to click on no thanks then. Here on the left side, you have an inbox. This is where every single mail appears. To the right, you can actually read all your emails once you have selected them. It still has to load for me, but you can click here on load more. And after doing this, inbox sent, put it to unlimited, and then also exchange accounts. This will mean that it's going to load all your email and not the last two weeks. This is going to be way better if you save mails and all that. For the rest, here at the top, we can actually add accounts by clicking here on add and I'll ask you to enter another account. For example, I can enter here a Gmail account to show you that it also works here. It's going to ask me to go to the browser because this is needed with Google. I'm going to select Brave, there you go. After doing this, I just have to enter my details. And of course I got verification on my own phone. So the only thing I have to do now is to click here on continue and it's going to ask me if I trust Bluemail. I'm just going to click here on continue because I do. After doing this, I just have to click on open Bluemail email, but I'm going to click on always allow. After doing this, I can actually add all my accounts easily and I don't have to click allow, allow every single time. It's very easy like this. So here I have the same configuration, for example, that this is my Gmail account. I can pick a color and here I can click on done or add more accounts. There you go. Now you will see that I have my own main email and I have my Gmail, which is very easily added like this. To go to the settings, it is very easy to left below. You will find settings and here you can configure multiple things. For example, dark mode. There you go. If you don't like the very bright a window you can change it and it looks like this here you can see that i got security alerts because i've logged in and for the rest uh, you can add as many emails as you want i thought it was about 20 but yeah find out for yourself i don't think you have more than 20 accounts i have about eight or nine so at least but for the rest the magic sync i was talking about is very useful if you want to Configure this also on another device. So we just have to go to the settings again and then go to Magic Sync. After doing this, you just have to start Magic Sync. Do remember if you log in with, for example, the same email account, it is not automatically going to transfer your own settings. It's only going to do that if you turn on Magic Sync and you have the code. Here it asks me if I already have a Magic Sync number. If I do, I would probably have another device running it. If I go to my phone, I can easily find it in the settings, which I'm not going to show right now. But for the rest, it is pretty much the same as Windows. Well, yeah, <laughs> here you got Start Magic Sync and you can link my devices or I can see the list about them. And here you got the same configuration. It's not very visible, but it's the blue and it's the orange, which is I have a magic sync number and I get a number. Getting the number is, of course, to configure it to another device, a so device you're setting up right now. So this code is only temporary, by the way, so you can't hack me. But for the rest, um, yeah, here you just have to transfer the numbers to your new phone here you go and i just have to enter them here and it will automatically transfer everything through a cloud system which is very secure there are many things you can tweak here i'm just going to uh, leave it like this these are the standard settings the standard settings is pretty much light mode this is because my system is light mode so this really is the best mail app you can use this is because you can configure all um, email accounts in one system and it is cloud sync. This means that everything I see here is also on my computer. Everything you delete is also deleted on your own Outlook, Gmail or iCloud. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe and like right now. This is because you will help us create more videos like this. I especially do want to make more videos like what are the best applications and of course how to optimize your own system. For now, I'm only playing around with Windows. This is because it is the most broad used platform. 
Of course, Android is technically the most broad used platform, but hey, uh, you're watching a video and I have to record it in landscape mode, which is very annoying. But hey, I can easily make videos about that. For example, <laughs> my password manager. I think you're pretty much interested by that. And I will be talking about it in a future video. For now, I'm going to stick it more to Windows, but maybe if I got the curiosity, I will definitely show you my password manager, which is available on Windows, Mac OS, browser, Android, iOS, you can call it. So I want you to all access the best applications. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will see you on the next one. And for the rest, every single link is in the description. And you will be supporting us, by the way, because we have link for ties linked, which means that we earn a little bit if you click on the links. So please do instead of just searching it up in your browser. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.